Welcome to the demonstration movie for Faro HD. In this brief tutorial, we'll show you how to import aerial images other than Google Earth and how to make sure that your pictures are properly scaled once they're brought in. Now, our customers know that here at Faro Technologies, we're Google partners. That means whenever you bring in a Google map, it comes in precisely to scale. Not so the case with other sources, maybe a helicopter image or a drone image or Bing or whatever variety of aerial image resources you're using. Easy to import, easy to scale, just essentially takes one more step than bringing in a Google image. So let's show you how to do that. Import image, go to your hard drive, find the picture you need. I've got a shot of a gentleman down here. You can see he's flying a drone to get this picture. That's the pilot and here's his uh, vehicle. Looks to be like a Cadillac Escalade, I think it is. So let's search our database, get that Escalade and show you our problem. We bring it in, obviously not to scale, no worries, easy to adjust. So once you've imported your image, simply click on it and the scale tool will be highlighted. This is what it looks like. Now what we need to do is while we're shooting our scene, we need to get a couple of measurements from a couple of reference points so we have a known image to adjust our aerial image to. Keep in mind that the greater the distance of your known distance, the more precise the scaling will be. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use this uh, road divider here, or this road lane rather here, with a known distance of 12 feet, just to show you how the tool works. So first thing we need to do is get down to a workable size for the area in question, bring our tool over to where it is, and you want to get as precise as possible at this stage of the process, the more accurate the scaling input is on the way in, the more accurate it will obviously be for your finished product. So we'll get our grips, just make sure we're nice and horizontal, get right to the edge of that fog line. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Then all we need to do is look over here at the scale tool distance. The image currently thinks that that distance in the scale tool is 2.17 feet. Well, we know it's not because we measured it. All you need to do is input your new value, 12 feet in this case, and just like that, your image is perfectly to scale to begin your work on. Uh, just to reinforce that, we'll bring the Cadillac back in, throw it out on our scene, and you can see that that is indeed the case. So keep in mind you want to measure a couple of reference points while you're shooting your scene. Import the image, place the scale toolbar, input your value in the scale tool distance, and you are good to go. Thanks for watching.